Hey guys, it's Joe for PocketNow.com. Last time in Launcher Wars, Brandon showed you Launcher Pro. Today, I'm going to show you ADW Launcher EX. Let's go take a look. Alright, so in the last video, Brandon showed you Launcher Pro, and to be honest, that is one of my favorite replacement launchers for Android. In fact, uh, I've got a license key to the premium version of that just like Brandon does and it's really really nice. However, I also have a license key to this. This is ADW Launcher EX. Now, the EX is the new version that has some of these kind of hyper real page turn animations. You see how it kind of folds in and folds out. Just all kinds of really cool stuff and uh, this guy, Anders Webb, was really one of the first people to do that. Uh, and it's just really kind of cool and lets you show off your Android above everybody else's. But cool looks aside, let's go ahead and get looking at the uh, the head-to-head -head stuff that we talked about in Brandon's last video. First and foremost, this is a T-Mobile G2. I am running a Cyanogen mod nightly, so it's uh, a gingerbread version, which really is kind of nice for this series because Brandon showed us his Nexus S, which is also running gingerbread. So the operating system is pretty much the same. Also the same is the Nexus S and the G2 are both coming stock with what's called the Google experience of Android. There's no Samsung UI, there's no uh, Xperia type interface, there's no HTC Sense. It's a stock vanilla, very fast implementation of, uh, of the core Android OS. So that having been said, you can then throw onto it all kinds of stuff like these custom launchers. Really kind of cool. So. Brandon showed you kind of really fast stuff. He turned off all of his animations um, except for his background wallpaper, his live wallpaper. And you can see here I've got a live wallpaper running in the background as well. Uh, I've also loaded this up. I've actually got three widgets on my main home screen, but we'll come to that in just a minute. Uh, I, however, have left my animations on except when we get to the app drawer. Uh, and Brandon likes a fast uh, opening app drawer, so do I. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you mine. Open the app drawer, see if I can get a good tap on it. And bam, it's open. Just like that. Bam, it's closed. Uh, you can set animations to that and all kinds of neat stuff. But while we're there, let's talk about the app drawer. In ADW Launcher, there are lots of different things you can do. Brandon showed you in Launcher Pro, you can change the number of icons and pack them in tighter. I've done that too. You can do that in Launcher Pro and ADW Launcher. So I've got five icons going across and one, two, three, four, five icons going down. So I've got 25 icons in addition to my dock icons right there. You'll also notice I've got these little itty bitty dots across the top to help me know which page I'm on. And I've got just a whole bunch of icons on there. Now, you can do the infinite scroll where you scroll it up, you can do an infinite scroll where you scroll it side to side, fling, there, there's lots of stuff that you can do in the settings. I kind of like this because I can look at just one page of icons at a time and when you've got this many apps on your device, finding them is kind of a, a little bit difficult. So, I like being able to look just at one screen rather than, you know, was it that or was it that? When you can do the scrolling, you can get between screens and then you end up looking at the same thing twice, which that's not what you want to do when you just want to get in and quickly launch an app. So really kind of cool there. You can uh, change and theme the background of your drawer. In this case, I am running a, uh, a gingerbread theme. Now themes may be free or they may cost extra money. In this case, it was 99 cents and uh, I've really been quite impressed. He's pushed out a, a lot of updates that primarily include all of these themed icons. You can see here's SoundHound, here is my set CPU, my ROM manager, Google Talk, and they're not the stock icons. Neither are these down on the bottom. They're icons that come with this theme. So if you want to make your Android look like an iOS device, you can do that. If you want to make it look Windows Phone, you can do that. If you want to make it look uh, Windows 7, you can do that. At least with the icons and kind of the UI hints. All right, so going back home, Brandon showed you the uh, Sense UI previews, and you have that over here as well. It's a little bit slow because I'm on this really resource-intensive live wallpaper background, and that's just beautiful live wallpaper from uh, Level Up Studios that I've showed you in the past, their new OpenGL version. lets you put a, uh, a nice picture from your gallery behind it, uh, and, and kind of adds a little bit more personality to your device. So really, I like that. Uh, that update. It is available free in the market if you want to go get that again. Uh, Level Up Studios 
live weather uh, wallpaper uh, search for that you'll find it no problem anyway you can see here I've got a total of what three four five seven home screens and I do that mainly because I like having a whole bunch of home screens I have them organized and I've got some full screen widgets on here that uh, that take up a lot of space but just by pressing and holding or excuse me just by pressing the home button on the home page you can get to that or if you want to pinch you can get into that as well and then you can quickly jump to any one of those so we'll jump over here to my uh, my voice screen which you've seen in my voice videos in the past now Brandon showed you that you can resize widgets in Launcher Pro you can do the same thing over here in well, let me grab onto it a little bit better uh, in ADW Launcher and I'll show you what you just saw there in just a moment so we're going to tap and hold on it so that it knows that we don't want to interact with it we want to actually change the widget itself and I didn't tap long enough let's try a different spot here ready and there we go so now we get these three little options popping up in this action bubble we can either remove it from this screen we can edit the widget or if it were just an icon we could uh, edit that as well or we can uninstall the app I think remove and uninstall are kind of worded poorly but you know that's just me now normally if you want to remove something you tap and hold and you drag it to a trash can icon on the screen I've turned that off in my options you can do the same if you want but from here let's go ahead and edit this and you can see I've got these little grabbies I can make this wider if I had more room here I can make it taller since I don't I've kind of boxing it in here but I can make this real skinny I can make it real wide I like what Brandon's done he's got three so we're gonna leave it at three and to get out of this you hit the back button and there you go I've resized this widget which is normally a four by one four tiles wide by one tile high into a three by one and then I've got my voice search button right off to the side of that to make things a little bit quicker and easier so resizable widgets really kinda cool next up we've got the dock now I'm with Brandon on this the dock is the dock and it should be the same regardless of what screen you're on so if I'm over here on my social networking and news screens I have the same dock you can set up a second dock which isn't as many as in Launcher Pro um, but you can have a little gesture where you flip up or flip down and it will get into basically giving you another set of icons across the bottom I like having consistency across everything so I have it set right there you can also style this dock you can add icons, customize it, anything you want. Maybe you want your uh, uh, your launcher, your little app drawer button over here on the side. You can do that, not a problem. Uh, the icons down here, you can customize those when you drop them in, or you can get a theme pack like I have that automatically uh, changes them for you. So I've got Google Voice on the side. I've got my dialer, I've got my uh, my browser, and then over on the side, I don't know if you can see that very well on camera. I've got my Waze icon that's not really a Waze icon that's uh, Google Maps navigation but I like it better than the uh, the Waze icon which is just the blue one and I kinda wanna go with the green theme down on the bottom so really kinda cool alright so I've shown you the uh, screen transitions I've shown you uh, getting into the app drawer uh, all of those are configurable and that's in the settings so let's go ahead and take a look in there first I wanna show you this I'm on my far left screen so if I go into menu I have settings that's gonna take me to my phone settings but I also have a more button that will let me either lock the desktop or go to ADW settings. I'm not going to do that right now. Instead, I want to roll all the way over here to my home screen, my main home. And if I do the same thing, you'll notice now, <clears throat> actually, I guess he f he's fixed it in this update. There used to be an ADW uh, launcher settings there as well, which was kind of inconsistent. But it looks like that's uh, been changed in a recent update. So, hey, woohoo. All right, presets you can go in and I can't left tap for some reason and set this up however you think somebody else might want it so if you want just the default which is really fast and really cool there you go if you want it to be kind of iPhone-y you can do that if you want to be uh, like a Nexus you can do that or if you just want fast so they're just some kind of presets I'd recommend you choose one get to like it and then go in and customize from there rather than starting from default and and customizing everything at least until you get the hang of, of changing all these because look we've got an awful lot of settings in here 
So Brandon didn't touch on backup and restore. Uh, it is available in Launcher Pro, but I recommend that once you get everything set the way that you want it to, you back up your settings, okay, and then you back up your desktop configuration, okay. As easy as that, now it's all backed up with one caveat. You cannot back up widgets. You can back up their location, but you can't back up their configuration or their settings or anything like that. So if you're going to go and do a uh, you know a custom home screen like I've got where I've got three widgets on there, the placeholders are going to be there, but you're going to have to re-add the widget. So it's a lot better than not having anything at all, especially if you're wiping your ROM frequently like I am with CyanogenMod Mod Nightly's. Uh, you can restore your system back or restore your UI back the way you like it very quickly and then just replace in your uh, widgets. So to wrap this up, speaking of widgets, uh, Launcher Pro has some very HTC Sense-like widgets that come uh, you can unlock. Uh, that's cool. It's awesome. In fact, he's spending an awful lot of time working on those widgets. ADW Launcher is not doing that. And the widgets aren't cross-compatible. Uh, you know, uh, one launcher's widgets don't work in another launcher, which is kind of disappointing. So, what I've done is I've gone out and I've found what widgets I like best. So this is Plume, which is a Twitter client. Uh, this is my uh, Pure Calendar widget. These guys are both from Level Up Studios and they're beautiful widgets pack. Over here I've got Facebook, I've got uh, Feeder, and I've got, this is just the Google News widget. So I've put the widgets that I like on there, and yes, they're not as HTC Sense-like as uh, what comes with uh, Launcher Pro, but I don't need them. You know, this is my phone, and this is the way I like it. Brandon's got his phone, he's got it the way he likes it. It's all about customizability and what you can do. So here I've shown you... ADW Launcher EX, it is available in the market, it is available I believe in euros, so it's going to convert to your uh, currency. I believe I paid about three and a half US dollars for it, three, maybe uh, 384 is coming to mind. Uh, well worth every penny. Um, there is a free version just called ADW Launcher that doesn't have all the cool page animations like this does. Uh, so try that out if you don't want to spend the money up front. Both very cool. If you want to see more of these launcher wars, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments what launcher you use so we know what you'd like to see next. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.